I cook mostly on the boats <laughs> because I don't actually like to eat other people's crap food. <laughs> so I wound up doing, doing quite a lot of cooking. So a lot of what you're seeing here uh, is contributed to my time that I've spent in the galley. And the first thing that you must adhere to with a cruising boat is yes. to be able to have a galley that you can lock in and free both hands. If you're holding on as you normally have to with one hand, you can't, how do you, how do you do that? That's you right. then can't peel potatoes. We have you tried. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly, that's what I had Unsuccessfully. To do that. <laughs> yeah. So uh, in, a, in a Kraken, you brace yourself fully like this, and this is a, uh, a sliding, uh, this deliberately designed, so it's a sliding chop bowl, uh, and then you run the tap onto it, uh, and you wash off into the sink, and then this way into the biodegradable uh, uh, bin. Check this out. And this this thing is your biodegradable and that goes out and gone so when you're doing your um we've changed the design of this a little bit as well it drops in it's a top lifting now oh is this better. corian yeah it's all good. so and that's all so when right? you're when you're working in the galley biodegradable in this side bins and stuff in that side and so yeah that just lifts forward, that lifts out, and again, you've got your uh, bin area enclosed. Often, that's not even addressed, and you wind up with a black sack that <laughs> slops, yeah. uh, slops about. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, what you have the need for in a cruising uh, yacht is storage space, storage space, storage space, and more storage space. So what you've got, and there's fiddles in each no, of yeah. the lockers. Storage space. It's a shame, look. I want you to just see that. Just the quality of yeah, all of this craftsmanship. Finished, yeah. <laughs> Everything is so superbly done. It's only one freezer? In this oh, boat, no. but you can have two. Yeah, okay. So you've got option. a fridge and a freezer. Uh, in this boat, um, you, I'll, tell, I'll, I'll tell you about that in a second. And no, no propane induction top? Uh, like no. That. No boat I will ever build will have propane. That's a good idea. I think I might have told you the story. Did I? No. Okay. When I was a young guy, I built my first boat. I finished the boat. I sailed it down to a small marina not very far from me. And uh, I moored alongside a place, was in a place called Tilbury Marina. It's not even there anymore. And I pulled in at my berth. Uh, I was there a couple of days. There's another boat on the other side of my pontoon. He turned up uh, one day, I didn't know who the guy was, turned up, jumped on his boat, and as he went to take off a uh, shoreline mm -hmm. from the stern, it snagged. He did it, he jumped off the boat. He jumped off the boat, the boat blew. Mm -hmm. And blew the deck off the boat, the mast came down and went, fortunately, away from my yacht, Corsa, mm -hmm. went in the sea the other way. He was blown across the uh, pontoon and into the sea, but he was largely undamaged. He'd have been killed if he'd been on yeah. the boat, no question. And the whole boat just went up in one big fireball. Ouch. And, uh, and then, uh, a couple of months later, uh, the guy came back to the marina. And, his, and he came across, his, a guy pulled him out of the water and he came and said, oh, yeah, thanks very much. And I said, oh, Jesus, man, you know, what a terrible disaster. And he said, yeah, yeah. And I said to him, you know, didn't you have a gas detector? Oh, what have you called me? <laughs> My pocket. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> that was interesting. Uh, I said, didn't you have a gas detector? And he said, yeah, sure, I had a gas detector. So I said, oh, I don't get it. He said, where is the gas detector? So I said, well, in the bilge. He said, yeah, along with all of the other crap that's in the bilge. Mm. He said, and it didn't function. He said, and the, and the, and the boat blew. He said, I said, oh, right, okay. That was enough for me. Uh, I couldn't, in those days, there weren't good enough generators to really run the power requirements right. that there are on modern boats. But I was determined from then on, I'll never have another boat with... Uh, uh, with propane and what I did is I changed that whole boat 
uh, and it's lay out <laughs> got ultra they're paranoid. They're more efficient, though. And they're much more efficient. But there's another thing. You which won't it, run it, out of propane anywhere. Correct. And, and try when you do, get it. try now to get them to give you a change bottle. Right. You won't get them to do it because now you need a house and a contact. Right, because most of them are rental, aren't they? Correct. Right now, and when you do get it, you find the regulator is all bloody different as well, and so you wind up. I know a guy in Fiji, as mate of mine, he was walking around Fiji for four days, had to come on my boat for for food because he couldn't. And you've got diesel, so why the hell? Right, you know? right. no. And, you can get sort of panels get and if money. you're if you're if you're you really need to have your generator working. This, this, while you're there, this panel uh, comes I out. I noticed. And that gives you access to the yeah, non service <coughs> side of the engine, which of yeah. course we're going to get to in a minute. So you got seawater or rinse there, or just this is it fresh water? It, you can, this is fresh water only, but you can have fresh and sea. Okay. Yeah. This is so great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just looking at everything like, what? So, um, obviously, one of the things that you will notice I've eliminated and I will be certain that you have experienced, is those push button bloody buttons. Yes, <laughs> that like is that. exactly so why. Yeah. <laughs> and look, it comes back. And look, it's metal on metal. Yeah, metal on plastic. metal and plastic, yep. Uh, I was looking at these specifically for that reason because every single push button one is just That awful. just spins around yep. and, and locks down again. Um, I hate them. Those push button ones are absolutely. Oh, you go because what's worse is you go dong 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 dong, and then it pops, but you can't stop your brain, and you push it in. And, then and, it and, does and, what, and there's a load in it; it's heavy. Yeah, yeah. you cannot release them. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Sure. So if you're hitting the wrong way. Yeah. So mm -hmm. anyway, we we got that covered as well. Yep. Um, when you're looking for storage space, you really need to store some nice key. Yeah, and, and tall, bottles, tall bottles, yeah. tall bottles, which you've never got space for. <laughs> so you can have two freezers and then the, the fridge on yeah. the outside. Yeah, what too. you've got is, is a double, now this is a drawer system. Yeah, I like the drawers. Which, yeah, because otherwise they are wearing fridges. Yeah. You know what I mean by a wearing fridge? You open it when you're going upwind. You open it like that, you're wearing everything. Right. So with these uh, system, this is a really beautiful uh, system, Fri uh, Ventra Vitra Frigo uh, drawer system, as you can see. Nice. Really, really nice quality gear. And here's the um, freezer. But if you want two you freezers, second. you can have two freezers. Do you smoke, sacrifice smoke detector above you there? Sorry? Is there a smoke detector above you? Yes, it is, yeah. yeah. And do you sacrifice the third drawer? Uh, yeah, you're going to lose. What happens, this goes up. Uh-huh. So there's more storage here. Right, but you don't sacrifice the bottom. No, no, you, not both of them. Right. You lose one of them. Okay. Yeah. And then that fits. This this moves up effectively. And this one, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can't move that up too high because otherwise you've got to, because no, no, no. It's not that <laughs> you can't see in the bloody freezer because <laughs> oh, right. if it's too high, yeah. but it will come up about here, I think. Okay. That's Phil's side. I like the Corian too, it's not going to scratch, like yeah. this is but not going to... But look, but look at this, you know, mm -hmm. this is expensive to do, this yeah. uh, this moulding. We changing um, the styling of, uh, you could have this, but we also have another styling which finishes here. Uh, so what we want to do is eradicate that radius, that sharp corner. It's a, that's a, it's turned out to be a dirt trap. And by having a narrow uh, height splash bag, a lower splash bag, what we can actually do is radius this all the way round, which we can't radius uh, big pieces like this. And what about lighting up? You can have lighting. Yeah, we don't have it in this particular. I think actually we might have already changed that. Yeah, I would say. Phil wouldn't. Would, so, would expensive what are you going to do on a new one here? It's going to make it round. Oh, you mean that? Oh, no, it's just. It, 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 so this height, so we, what we would do is extend this down here, yeah, this, this, uh, uh, what's the name of the stuff? It's called, anyway, right, this, this material. Kind of stuff, yeah. Yeah, it, uh, 
regardless. Regardless, yeah. Right? It has a we'll texture to it. We'll extend that down. That's all waterproof and yeah. washable. And we'll make it a, a fiddle that comes around. Uh, this is a splashback that's here. That means we can cut this piece out of one piece. Mm. And that means we can eradicate these radius, mm -hmm. these sharp corners, mm -hmm. which, as you can see. Although it looks nice to have the, the, the whole floor. Yeah, and you can go whichever yeah. way you want. It yeah. doesn't make any. But that's something you can just choose. Probably a good idea. You well, you've got loads of video of it, and you can have a think about that because you can see. I, you can't probably see, in so in uh, zero zero four, that that is how it's installed. But you can't probably see that in zero zero four because I think it's likely to be all covered up because they're just fitting the deck. Um, but you're going to be back in in time. We're, Will you come back at 004 launch, which is April or something like that? Maybe. Um, yeah. If you came back then, uh, you're, that boat is, I think, uh, well, it's going to be in mast. Um, so you might give you an opportunity to see that as well. Uh, and I'll just give you some other ideas in time to be able to affect your build. Okay. You know? Uh there's not, I mean, unless breeze comes through here and here. Sorry? For uh, air ventilation. Yeah. Through here. Yeah, the hatches, you've got the hatches. That hatch there, there and this hatch here is the, the only one. Well, I, and aircon. And aircon. So the aircon's but coming out here. We, maybe you might want to think about putting a fan. I, you can have. If we, you're not going to have AC on. We, we, you can have. Uh, an exhaust fan, you mean? To so we have two hatches just there? a f flan blowing on you because it's going to get hot while you're cooking. Oh right, okay. I mean, um, and you could even put one mount a, a one there and the plugged into. Yeah, you could. I mean, volt. I run aircon. Why? <laughs> I have to yeah. tell you. <laughs> really? Aircon, yeah. All the time? Yeah, no, no. When I'm cooking. When you're cooking. When I'm yeah. cooking, I run the aircon and uh, to have. What about another hatch here? Uh, it doesn't work. I think. Um, I think, no, I'm not sure about that. It uh, might be able to be done. But I don't know if that would even increase the airflow enough to really make yeah, it comfortable. I so. Yeah, I don't suppose so. I mean, just, uh, we have a challenge, you know, which you might have just won, Eve, which is we reckon nobody can find anything. <laughs> <laughs> to, What's that? To add oh, to well, design. there we go. And you might Eve, have you may have just found it. <laughs> Yeah, can that they make, could be. A, I tell you what they could. I tell you what they could be. There could be a second one, and they bring some light or it could be a longer light one. And a yeah. light. No, longer probably not because no, no, of you, you rating the, and yeah. safety, but yeah. double maybe. This is this is great. I'm just gonna... These are big drawers too. Store yeah, a lot, and you can store food down here. And that's yes, I was... bottles. Uh, yeah, know, often people people will put bottles here. The more storage down the bottom there as well. Really storage, nice. storage, yeah, storage, really. and storage. 